right now there's a lot of things going on in this world a lot of things going on um and there's a lot of things that is soon to happen i'm not going to be one of those people and i don't want to be one of those people to you know um come on here and be like oh you know the end is near the end is coming soon all that stuff you know what i'm saying I just want people to pay attention to the signs. That's all. Pay attention to the signs going on in this world. I ran just bombed Israel not too long ago, like about, about a week ago. You got a presidential election coming up next month. And a lot of people are calling this probably like one of the most important elections of all time of America, basically. I think in the next few months or so, you got something, I think the BRIC Summit, the BRIC Summit, that's another important event that's going underneath the radar that a lot of people don't know about, but just look it up and you'll know, you'll just like learn about it. I'm not gonna go into like, you know, doing a full, you know, detailed video about everything that I'm saying, but just wanna make it a little bit short and sweet. It's just so much stuff with hurricanes, tornadoes. Everybody see what's going on in the United States. And not just the United States, but just, you know, even outside in the different countries, how they got stuff going on as well. Like I said, with Iran and the, and the BRICS summit and everything, all that stuff. Like, so many things is, is coming. So many things is about to happen that we just got to be prepared for it. And when I say prepared, I don't mean like, you know, like I know a lot of people have the mindset thinking that, okay, you got to be stocked up with food and water and, you know, um, all the supplies you need, all the guns you need and weapons or whatever, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's not what we need to be preparing for. We need to be prepared spiritually because what's prophesied in the Bible and what's going to happen to America in the near future. No guns, no stocked foods, no weapons, none of that is going to prepare you for that. Because it's not just going to be, you know, as the Bible prophesies, it's not just going to be just, you know, other nations coming against America to destroy it. But the most high. The Most High is going to be destroying America. And let me phrase it like this, because the Most High, he's 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 the mastermind behind all, all of this anyway. Like, when it comes down to, you know, these other countries that's prophesied to destroy America, that's the Most High's doing. That's the Most High's will, according to his prophecies, according to his word. He, or, he, he is ordaining it, or ordaining it to happen. It's going to happen. I don't know when. I'm not going to sit here and give you a date and try to be one of those. Oh, I'm, I'm a deep prophet and everything. And I know, oh, look for this day or, you know, on, on this day, this is going to happen. Like, I don't know all that. I, I don't. But I can just sit here and give you an idea and at least let you know that with the events going on currently and the events that are soon to happen, America is going to be in big trouble. And we just, we just need to be prepared spiritually. We need to be praying, need to be fasting, need to be living for the most high. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm doing the best at that as well. Like, I know, I know I'm not. That's, like, you know, something for me to, like, individually, individually change. You know what I'm saying? But the same applies to everybody else. That we all individually need to be getting ourselves right with the most high. And when I say get right, like, it's not like a lot of people tell you, oh, get right. Okay, how do I get right? Do they just think that it's only praying? That's the only thing you need to do? No, keeping this laws and commandments is the main thing that he told us to do in order to, like, you know, keep, stay right with him. And to show our love to him. To show our our um, honor to him. To show that you love the Most High, you must keep his commandments. That's literally what the Bible says. If you love me, keep my commandments. That's what Christ said. 
but Christ is speaking, basically the most high is speaking through Christ. If you love me, keep my commandments. And the fact that a lot of our people, we're not doing that. Like I said, and I can call myself out on that. I'm not. I'm not doing the most high's commandments the way that I want to and the way that I should. But I know that like, you know, as time is, is winding winding down, and as these events are soon to happen, for those of us who are not keeping his commandments, and not even just not keeping his commandments, but those of us who are not teaching to keep his commandments. Because the Bible talks about the reward given to those who not only just teach and do, because for those who teach the commandments and do the commandments as well, you, you'll be called, for, you'll be considered great in the kingdom. But for those who teach those to not keep the commandments, will be called the least of the kingdom and I want to be a part of the great but I know that in terms of being a part of the great being considered the great in the kingdom I got to keep his commandments I can come up here and tell y'all all day every day you know oh keep his commandments keep his, keep his commandments but I know that I need to do better in my life do better in making more effort to keep his commandments and not just doing the bare minimum you know what i'm saying like it's it's more than just keeping his commandments there's other things as well well all the commandments all together like you know is the is basically like you know it, it gives you the blueprint on how to live a righteous life and how to live from the most high and how to prepare for what's to come but it's just a lot of things that you know we we should know now and we should be like you know implementing in our life in order to live for the most high so i just want to give that message out to my people um whoever receives the message whoever gets this message i hope it resonates within your spirit within your heart lord lord willing um like i said we got to check ourselves daily we can't sit there and be thinking that you know put ourselves on a high horse thinking that you know just because everything may be going good in our lives that you know will be spared from the most high judgment like no you got to check yourself to make sure that you're actually living for the most high not not according to how you think you should live for the most high but according to how the most high told us to live for him which is once again keeping his commandments so i'm gonna leave it at that and i want to give all praise to the most high for like you know giving me the breath of my body to come on you know this platform whatever platform i'm on to give out a message and hopefully people will you know like i said hopefully some people will accept it for those who are who the most high ordains to hear this message and who who he ordains to receive this message i just pray that his will be done that's all but i want to end this by giving all praise to the most high and like i said to my people stay prayed up and get ready get ready